There we go. Nah, Tracker Stuff's only for, um, SM Sim 3. Yo, Jay, thanks for the raid of four. We're just getting started, so good timing, you know? A little bit of encouragement for it. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, it is getting into the spring season for everybody. Everybody's favorite time. And definitely doesn't cause a ton of allergies. <laughs> right, let's dive right in and see what nonsense awaits. Oh, hey, did Emo Tracker randomly disconnect despite the fact that I'm still just running Q-Speed to Sniff? It what a crash? What when did you get up any about this time? Eva Tracker! Ugh, I hate having to restart this thing, it takes forever! But the other stupid tracker doesn't track dungeon items because of arbitrary rules! <laughs> How is it that Link to the Past is still so far behind on having a decent auto tracker? It's like, what the hell, man? This is one of the oldest randomizes. And yet. <laughs> I mean, he's got like one song. Actually, I think like two songs by Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> It's got like two of them! <laughs> oh, Emo Tracker, I don't like using you because you're bloated and bad, but like. In the less there are two evils, unfortunately! <laughs> Are we good? Are you gonna connect to Q's to this nest and not randomly disconnect this time? It's thinking about it. Okay, maybe I should just restart Q's to this nest. Let's try that approach. Yay, restarting things, because it randomly breaks. Never have this issue with SMZ3. Starting Houston's this worked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, I think we're good as long as nothing else breaks. Let us begin. Be cookie, Thieves Town! Man, everything's looking all dark. <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be the light world? <laughs> Alright, nothing in there. And hey, now we have MSC resume, so... <laughs> I get to hear more than the first 10 seconds! Oh, oh yeah, yeah! <laughs> I imagine that. And shot him right through me! Yeah, it's time for a little bit of rock and or roll. <laughs> and hey, it's all stream safe, so that's good. <laughs> I 
That's the bottom of Spiral Cave. Why is it so dead looking? No, bad. No throw pitchfork. Fresh meat. Right, meatball. <laughs> Ooh, tier one bombs. Seems good to me. I want to pick up a second batch of those. All right, I can take a peek here real quick. Do I want to walk all the way around? Yes, I want to go grab that. <laughs> all right, one moment, one moment. I'll swing around, go get that medallion just in case. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, oh yeah, oh yeah. Bombs to buy if I didn't already have a bunch. Luigi, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's get filled up on bombs. Luigi! It! I gotta make it! It's such a long walk! You unbelievable! <laughs> oh yeah! This is a very tense moment. Wahoo! Here we go! Yeah, but I can't use the shield so there's an enemy throwing pitchforks at me. I need a sword to protect from that. Oh, nice save and quit point. Very useful. <laughs> How does the old man cave always end up in such a useless spot? I don't get it. There's so many good entrances and yet he always ends up somewhere terrible. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's the other old man! <laughs> get a sour would actually be pretty good, yeah. Provided you can get a mirror. <laughs> Dark Death Mountain is one of the better spots, just because it has a lot of awkward places you can get to. Yeah, actually having the Hyrule Castle key early in this mode is strange. Hey, I don't want that. Explosives! Yo, Lakeside Bar actually an upgrade! A few times the tavern's actually in a better spot. Oh, hey, another medallion. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. <sighs> Enemy RNG. Oh, it's going to be awkward. All right, <laughs> here we go. Man, it's minty fresh in here, though. Big key, Ice of Alice. Link's house is vanilla. Only the wackiest versions of Entrance Random will actually change up where Link's house is. Whew, there we go. <laughs> We practice the almighty most difficult practice of DODGE! <laughs> so 
sir, sir! Uh, sure. Where does this guy? I'll play this on a one way. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Alright, I'm not going this way yet, but that's good to know, I guess. Pardon our buddy sniffing monstrosity form. <laughs> You know, I guess I could go explore further if this ends up being nothing. And by explore further, I mean I'm gonna go take a look. Assuming I survive the murder bird. <laughs> I'll go take a look and see what's at Dark Road Lumberjack. Alright, it's pretty much RNG whether or not this thing kills me. And it killed me. <laughs> Would not be able to tell you why sometimes I can dodge that and other times I don't when I do the exact same inputs. You jump off the cliff and hold left. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I wouldn't be able to tell you when it is and is not going to do that. <laughs> Thanks to the other British shit. Nice little bomb refill spot. Yeah, Graham death. have a save and clip point in Kakariko for a change. <laughs> yeah, fine, I'll go into Eastern. <laughs> this never works out, but I'll go in anyways. It's right here, I guess I'll go. <laughs> also, everything's really dark. <laughs> Why is the world so dark? We must bring Gilder back to the world! At least the floor is shiny, I guess. Who didn't pay the electric? <laughs> Forbidden pot! The dark world's definitely brighter. Everything's backwards today. <laughs> oh, hey! A weapon! I don't actually have any magic for it, but hey, it's a weapon nonetheless. God, Eastern actually had something. It's a miracle. <laughs> All right, now to survive this without being able to see or defend myself. Mostly depends on Stalfos not being an asshole. I 
meant something, you know? Not the worst Eastern we've had. Anyway, so just use the same grip flag, so it'll take me right back where I want to be anyways. To the south! Bingo key! That's it, Thomas! That's not bad. Big key! Turtle rock! Hmm, pretty good shed we got here. <laughs> Uh, but I don't have the HP for this! I'll try, but this is gonna demand a great amount of luck. <laughs> Can I get past this? Nope. Alright, which means I basically have to kill this one. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Worth! Yeah, that seems pretty good. <laughs> good thing we got that sorted out. <laughs> Some magic so I can actually use my weapon. Oh god! Warning! Warning! Cheater detected! Ah! And Volmer clipped through to this side! It's illegal! Ah, some cash at least. And not a whole lot else. I'll take a look at this. I can get some magic while I'm here. <laughs> and I do have a mirror, so connectors aren't the most useless of things. Of twenty dollars. Oh, there we go. Full magic. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, what's up here? 50 bucks, okay. Yeah, screw it. Let's go. Oh, that's a wretched spot for that. Jeez. Well, not getting to that anytime soon. Ooh, 
Ooh, I will take this though. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Swamp Palace. Chicken house. Oh, the chicken didn't get propelled. It was supposed to go on the wall. Sure. I haven't actually gone down towards the dam yet, so this is helpful. Also hilarious that it's right next to Swamp. <laughs> Alright, once again, back to the sanctuary. <laughs> we'll get Kakariko cleared out eventually. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't do this last time. Doing his very best. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Hang on. Suddenly, this this mirror just got way more useful. We gotta do with this. Well, I mean, we gotta change the clothes and a glove! There we go! That's some good sequence breaking. What? <laughs> Let's try that again. Hopefully this time with a bit more success. It's funny, when you're first starting out, this ends up being the easiest bomb jump. But after a while, it becomes the least consistent one because of weird stuff like that. Mostly because it's diagonal. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and check that tree. I <laughs> have yeah, like being the uncle dropped out or something. No, don't be getting! Ah, fine. <laughs> we gotta do Aga one! Very well. <laughs> I guess we haven't had one of those in a bit, so... <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, here we are! I guess since I have this glove now, I'll just go over here. And there's a pretty good chance this ends up being something useful. <laughs> and it's literally the only cave that wouldn't have been useful. You're a real good jokester, aren't you, game? Okay, so every remaining drop down's useful then. Oh, 
Yeah, that's what I thought, me, Bill. <laughs> Bunch of bullshit. All right. Red Easter and here's Pod. I guess with two keys I can get to the back. I'm doing both side right now because I mean this is right next to the same clip point. So in the past couple of weeks, and it's currently in the testing phase. Should probably pick up a few of the rupees while I'm down here. It'll probably be released sometime next week. If I had to take a stab at it, because it's pretty much done, it just needs some further testing. Because testing and testing and testing is very important. <laughs> Not a lot of people will bother with something beyond version 1, we release it as just a random individual thing, so... It's important to get it right the first time. Mystery Meyer and Thieves Town. All right. You mean that big key I got from Thieves Town at the very start of the game, and then literally the first check that I did is actually useful? <laughs> Madness. <laughs> All right. So the pyramid's either the Uncle or the Kakarika Well, so it has at least two items on it. Where am I? Oh, the back of the old man saving quit point. Amazing. <laughs> that really is an incredibly useless saving quit point. One dollar? But I just found a bunch of those. <laughs> and it's the well on the pyramid, oh boy. Real nice drop downs we got here. <laughs> Ooh, now that's a weapon. Bomb crabs this time. All righty then. Guess I should go do South High Real next. I do have this glove, so I mean, there's lots for me to do.
Hey, man, whatever makes you comfortable. <laughs> Getting a bit of chow, always good. All right, desert is a pet bitch. Bring it on, punk! Disappointed! Second, second. Ah, oh, it's too far. <laughs> Failure. Time for thing for six to three months. My accuracy is bad today. That's better. It took like three tries, though. That's not sufficient. Quick redemption round? <laughs> I'm the coolest. That's better. <laughs> there, 50 50. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Primo Bird. Why are the Smiths all the way over here? <laughs> I mean, the desert almost looks right. It's just a little bit faded. <laughs> Alright, let's go the other way. I mean, when you play to those cross keys. <sighs> I mean, I guess I can do the first chest in here. He's trying to get people to buy followers, <laughs> etc. The usual mod. This. My current uh, viewership level has already established. <laughs> Takes a lot more than this to actually be comfortably stable. But I'm definitely appreciative for what I have, because it's a lot more than nothing still. Streaming ain't an easy life, yo! Takes a lot to actually make any money. <laughs> <laughs> I 
mean, that just means I've been doing it a while. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's stable. <laughs> Speaking of unstable, hi Twitch, you're dropping frames again, I see. <laughs> just a few now, just a few. I mean, I have these slippers now, so we should go take a look at Zora and see what he's got. I get the feeling there's a mirror is gonna be pretty important, especially since I've already found a connector into the dark world. Nah, I don't really like Tarot. I've, I've at least watched some of it to get a feel for what I think. Just not super fun of the engine. What you got? I shot a bunch of targets for this, but it was something good. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> All right, time for a connector shenanigans. That seems to be the name of the game at the moment. We're gonna go on an adventure. Guaranteed to have enough HP to survive the murder bird, even if it randomly hits me, so. <laughs> this is so out of the way, though. What a walk. God! I can't believe it's making me walk such a distance. It's so rude and inconsiderate. <laughs> Alright, what's up here? <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> and I happen to possess both the Cane of Samaria and the Fire Rod. <laughs> Song goes way too hard. <laughs> now, technically speaking, everything beyond the next door is out of logic, but I mean, like. <laughs> I'm still doing it. Further than this, though, because I literally don't have enough magic to actually fight their Arbos Knights. Looks like I get a refund of my small key. Nice! Classic lantern locked by the fire rod.
All right, time for some dark world exploration. See, though the bird wouldn't have hit me there. It makes no goddamn sense. It's like they have randomness to their takeoff speed. I like can go in here. I don't really see much value in it right now. Good to know where it is, though. I'm basically just a hammer off from being able to clear out most of that. Actually, all of it. <laughs> Why is the Dark World so much livelier looking? It even actually has green trees. <laughs> oh, hey, it's another connection that leads to the same place. <laughs> I get the distinct impression the game wants me to be in this corner in the Dark World right now. <laughs> I don't want to go to Skull Woods right now because I'd rather go when I can actually use my fire rod. <laughs> Don't have a bottle! <laughs> hey, at least we get to enjoy the drums going absolutely crazy. <laughs> Beat the shit out of that floor, Tom! <laughs> hey. Ice Palace, huh? You know, I can actually make use of our little thief friend here. Now, bonking does get rid of your super buddy state, so I needed to do this twice. <laughs> Boo! A bottle! I should turn around and go check Sick Kid again. <laughs> the plot thickens! <laughs> It's a good bee in it. <laughs> Let's see, and swamp is crystal. Bit of extra HP for wandering around. Ah, oh, yeah, the brass is here. <laughs> Give me those orchestra hits. Can't do anything there because I don't have the ability to throw bombs. <laughs> Wandering around as a bunny is always goofy. It does actually let you hear the bunny music for a bit as well. <laughs> Since normally that gets missed out on. <laughs> if only I glanced that earlier. Well, no more silly drum music. 
That's okay, I suppose I can move on to actual Dark World checks now. <laughs> and now, because the race item is unfortunately in a place where you can't mirror to it properly. What was that song? He's playing during the back to the backstage stage of High Fight Rush. And by stage, I mean we need to put one of these around it. <laughs> because it's really more like a two minute introduction before you fight Mimosa. Yeah, like where the stump is or so. Uh, do I really want to go on a connector journey right now? Sure. <laughs> ADVENTURE! That didn't go very far. <laughs> yeah, I love my ways to the stage dressed as a shark. Ask me anything. <laughs> You know, I didn't find out until recently that the whole left shark thing is actually a reference to some other nonsense that's happened before. <laughs> I didn't know there was actually, like, I think it was the Super Bowl show, where for some reason a singer had two, a freaking a person dressed as a shark on either side of them, and the left shark was going absolutely ape shit for some reason. <laughs> like, question marks everywhere on that one. One of those, I don't know about that, I don't watch sports. <laughs> Sounds hilarious, though. <laughs> Why did she bring sharks? <laughs> or, you know, people dressed as sharks. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, music industry. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's not good. No! I need more magic! Which means the best thing I can do is just die. <laughs> the lack of accuracy! It hurts! Anyways, let's try that again. Stupid bunny beam messing up my alignment. <laughs> I got a compass or ice palace before my troubles. Let's get the magic refill then. Yoink! Pretty good. Don't mind if I do on that one, especially since I haven't even been up to the regular part of Death Mountain yet. <laughs> toot, toot! I don't actually 
actually have a whistle of any kind in here. I just have this kind of whistle. Not quite the same. Ah, big key. What's it for? Misery Meyer, I needed that one. Nice. I got a lot of keys. Not a whole lot of everything else, but I got a lot of keys. A sword would be really helpful right about now. Alright, sure, I can go grab this. That does take me straight back to Kakarika Village. But you know what? Let's just take the connector. Yeah, shortcut! Fresh meat. Welcome back, Meatball. I took a shortcut! Bowser, you the best. Flute activated. Amazing. Excellent. good enough excuse for me to go ahead into Skull Woods. I have a key for that and a fire rod, so it seems a prudent time to go check it out. Ooh, speaking of checking things out. What do we have in here? You know what? I'm done with this. All you do is hit things with a guitar. Yeah, but I'm really good at it. A dirty thief. Ow. All right, hopefully it's not good old asshole woods. We'll see. Ow. Yeah, the decaf robot spite was riffled through for years. <laughs> She need a firmware update! <laughs> All the execs being too stressed out. They just need coffee. How vanilla of a layout is this? Also, how the hell did that not hit that guy? What? Hitboxes, am I right? Jeez.
You know, sorry, good me. But I kind of want to see what I get out of this. Nothing! You get nothing! Good day, sir! Fuck. <laughs> What do you mean, nothing? <laughs> you lose! And when she sent that password, all she thought it was was just a silly firmware update. Just a regular run of the mill update, right? No. So she wouldn't feel the need to make it anything particularly impressive. Kind of an awkward spot for business, this, especially with the murder birds outside! What's it here? Well, I do need those, unfortunately. <laughs> Big cookie! Da Copelis! Alright! I mean, not great, but not terrible. Let's go to Death Mountain! Okay, hang on. It's <laughs> good enough. Pizza. Mmm, pizza. I've pizza semi recently, so I'm not super tempted right now. I do have that medallion. I guess I can take a look at the first chest of swamp while I'm here. No, oh, that's a terrible spot to land for a connector. Guess it's time to find out whether or not the fire rod kills these guys. Yep. <laughs> oh, hey, and a free, free refill as well. Nice. Anyways, back to the other side of the mountain. Fredo sauce is a base for pizza before. That was pretty good. Probably really fat thing, but pretty good. Hmm, I'll check this out in a minute. Because I do want those items, but I kind of want to get the rest of this place done. You know, I can finish this. I know it's a pendant, but, like, I can finish it.
Yeah, it's a really weird pizza, honestly. Like, <laughs> yeah, let me just make sure I have maximum magic going into this. So it's like an Alfredo sauce base. It had like potato wedges and green onions and sour cream and like some spices. It was pretty good though. Nice and light as well, so it wouldn't feel nearly as heavy. Hard in the stomach. Regular Shino coming out with the party too. Welcome. Phew, just enough magic. And I get the amazing price of a heart piece. <laughs> yeah, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Wait, that's completely vanilla! Madness! Wait, that's illegal! Oh yeah, they do pun names for their cover songs quite a lot. <laughs> Sometimes they can't really think of much, so they do something that's similar but different. Such as the licensed song being Invaders Must Die, and they couldn't really come up with anything, so they just called it an intruder for the cover song. Also, the old man's up in Tower of Hera, so we need to go get him. <laughs> but some of them are very punny. <laughs> kind of covers, but some of them go for something completely different, like Mimosa's theme. <laughs> Intruder is incredibly similar to Invaders Must Die. They're almost the same song. <laughs> I'm, I really like the beacon. Some of the license songs don't really work. <laughs> like, for some reason, the one they used for the first boss in the game, it's played way too quiet, so you can kind of barely hear it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cover version of it is just going wild. <laughs> but then there's other times where the streamer version doesn't really work, like Melosa's theme. <laughs> the entire, like, Guitar Hero style section is clearly made for the licensed song. <laughs> Very clearly. <laughs> Then, like all the rhythm parry sections for most of it, there's a lot of stuff that's clearly lined up with the license song, not so much the streamer song. <laughs> but then there's Corsica's section that has no license music, it's all just the original stuff. <laughs> she just wasn't evil enough for her own theme song. <laughs> Sure. 
This works! A little bit awkward to get to and from, but hey, we're here. So that's how I'm supposed to get to the other side of the dark world, huh? <laughs> so, quite interesting. Stop floating cut! <laughs> Another connector! I don't know if I want to go through that. It's kind of difficult to get back here, but like... I'm curious. I mean, I guess this takes me back up here, but... There's not much point of being up here, so let's go back. Wait, isn't that gonna get rid of my mirror point? Ah, shit! Hang on, we need to go back up! <laughs> I'm up here, I might as well take a look at that other entrance that I didn't do. Excellent. How about a hammer or something to make getting back over there easier? Nope. Fine, we're going back to Super Buddy Cave. I have literally nothing else to do. <laughs> okay, I can like do most of Ice Palace, but I don't want to do that without the hammer. really a mistake. Yes, in hindsight, but, like, all you did was throw away an old piece of technology. <laughs> Though I can think of at least a few people who keep iPods around. You even have small collections of old ones, so to make sure they last for a while. And recycle parts. up here. Go see catfish. I used to have an eye find nano, but unfortunately I got slingshot towards the ground at one point and the screen broke. I actually have an old Theo player. I think it's the M1 or something? Whenever I need to go and have some music, that's what I use nowadays, because I don't have a phone. <laughs> Because data plants in Canada are outrageous! No! A sword! Ah, oh, that's much better. <laughs> I've been armed! We are now dangerous! Thanks, Catfish! It's 
So you look like you could use one of these. Yes, yes, I could. Thank you very much. <laughs> Another suspicious connector! Well, I should probably check that out after I'm done with these two. Ah. <laughs> I think this is just like 10 arrows or something, so this isn't even worth grabbing, but... Come up here real quick. What a weird central highway of different connectors. None, no. <laughs> it just has a shop set up right at the crossroads of many a place. Seems like a good location. Yeah, that's what I was thinking was gonna happen at some point. Oh, welcome to the Meyer area! Hopefully I have what I need to make the most of it. Oh, well, I mean, I can do this while I'm here. <laughs> I'll suck a little bit, I only have a fighter sword, but it's enough. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Make use of spike damage to take him out in two hits. Then I add a little bit more fire rod ammo. about that. That. Is that another pendant? Uh, no, it's a crystal, okay. That's some pressing spike damage. Pressing. <laughs> huh. Too easy for me. those bosses, it's only a problem because they're poorly programmed. <laughs> Be easy as shit if it wasn't for the whole knocking you into spikes cancels whatever hit you just did to him thing. <laughs> He is poorly programmed, so he's a piece of shit! I'm not 
sure if I'd call the giant wall master more fun, since it's really just waiting for it to come down and then chopping it constantly. But it is less frustrating. <laughs> I'll give it that much. <laughs> At least when you hit that one, you hit that one. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's programmed properly. <laughs> it's a little dull, but I mean, at least it works. And he's definitely better than Mafia. <laughs> oh, that was the whole Myra area. I guess I need to go on back. Which means I didn't get to go through this slow connector. <laughs> so the name's Knuckle Master. <laughs> That's pretty good. Man, I kind of want to get Advanced Force next week. But it's so overly expensive for what it is. <sighs> I kind of want to play it, but at the same time... And why the hell would they release it like three weeks away from freaking Tears of the Kingdom when they're releasing it full price? I don't get it! Why are they sabotaging it on purpose? Yet. I don't have its other big key either. I don't even have its small key. Uh, well, it's probably one of those things I don't really. I don't want to spend money on it. If it wasn't freaking like the full seventy dollars, then maybe I'd consider it. But seriously, a year and a half delayed. Come from one of the biggest releases they're intending to have for the whole thing. And it's just sitting there, overpriced. <laughs> Ow! My HP! I mean, a voucher's just... money. <laughs> I'm not that you mentioned it, I think I do have a gift card singing around? Also, oh god! <laughs> I can't believe I'm looking at... Fighter Sword Vitreous! Oh god, no. ANYTHING BUT THAT! Oh, I have no intention of picking up Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Zero intention! recently to show you how bad of an idea it is. <laughs> Except at this point I don't have much choice. I mean, it looks a whole lot like the exact type of Zelda game I don't like playing. <laughs> it's like I said, I was long since left behind when it comes to the AAA gaming industry. <laughs> I like simpler games that don't have, like, 152 extra scoops of fluff on them for no reason. <laughs> I like something that's more focused, something that's smaller, scoop. <laughs> like we don't need a thousand Korok seeds. <laughs> Oh, 
amongst other things that are just there to meander about. I'm less interested in games that want me to make my own fun, so to speak. <laughs> As I'm rarely in the mood for those. It's like I'm not really interested in making my own fun with this. That's why I bought a game that normally had, you know, a structured story and whatnot. <laughs> and dungeons! And focused areas! <laughs> Not just this giant sandbox. I'm tired of sandboxes. <laughs> if I wanted to do sandbox nonsense, I'd load up another ridiculous Minecraft mod. Because <laughs> that's a scope that actual games can't even compete with. That is losing my goddamn mind levels of scope. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess we're doing Fighter Sword Vitreous. At least I have the cape, I guess? Yeah, instead they just kind of scatter opportunities to use the mechanics all over the place instead of, you know, designing level! <laughs> way of flipping switches that doesn't consume some kind of ammo. <laughs> we are... Wait, I have a sword. Right, I just got that. Alright, time to very, very slowly kill this thing! One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Seven! Eight! Nine! Ten! Eleven! Twelve! Thirteen! Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five spin attacks! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the dungeon game, <laughs> you know? I'm just saying!
I mean, I guess I'll go to Ice Palace next. I got nothing else to do. I stand corrected. Well, hopefully there's nothing in Thieves Town Big Chest, because that's getting skipped. Also, lol, I guess I have access to Pyramid Fairy now, for what it's worth. It's worth absolutely nothing, but I have access to it. Kind of. Almost. I mean, most AAA games feel like they're deliberately wasting my time. That's why I don't play them. <laughs> I mean, that's the point of every Skinner Box Live Service game. Uh, lives. Hey, Skinnerbox, I'm calling other games a Skinnerbox. Because <laughs> now, Best of the Wild is absolutely not a Skinnerbox. I'm saying the common trend in AAA is Skinnerbox games. So, you're disagreeing that things that are imitating the Fortnite style are not sk that are... Hmm. <laughs> you know, literally things built off of battle passes and other fear of missing out things. Or you tediously grind the same thing over and over again to get that one extra little bit. And then do it again the moment they release another one. You know, kind of like MMOs of old. <laughs> I guess Curry, if you look at certain ones, but I mean, like, <laughs> that particular field's pretty much been just been WoW and FF14 for a while now. Okay, I guess I'll go back and do Tower of Hera, then. That's in logic, too, so that's kind of gross. I mean, I've 14 out my interest for a while. Certainly a lot more than most other games of that style. <laughs> or that had to do with stuff that was kind of like a sideways adjacent to the game, but oh well. <laughs> It's one of those things, if you like that sort of thing, that's fine. A lot of people obviously do, otherwise they wouldn't keep making them. But it's important to still remember exactly what it is. I mean, I got Bombos now, that's something, I guess. <laughs> I'd never touch the relic grind. <laughs> I took one look at how long that quest chain was, and I'm like, nope! I've got other shit to do! <laughs> and for what, an extremely minor upgrade to your weapon? Nah, I'm good, man! <laughs> I'm not doing top tier range shit, I don't care! I can handle having 10 less DPS! <laughs> They're very pretty, I'll give them that, but still, holy moly! <laughs> I took one look at that, it's like, <laughs> wait, how long does this go on? Holy moly! <laughs> but they are very pretty if you like particle effects. <laughs> uh, as they say, fashion is the true endgame. <laughs> What? <laughs> 
I mean, free or no, the act of a battle pass is still essentially what a skitter box is. You get a repetitive action that'll occasionally give you rewards. So it trains you to keep doing the repetitive action, whether it be grinding out this task or the other thing. That's the basics of it. Whether or not you paid money for it doesn't matter that much. We just want to keep you engaged. Go to Ice Palace, it's a pendant anyways. <laughs> the issue is the habit that it teaches. That's the big thing. It's literally designing for addiction. That's the problem. Yeah. I didn't mean to dwell on a couple of them, but then people wanted some more detail. <laughs> said it's at least nice when they're designed to not be a day job style of length of time. But those are definitely the exception rather than the rule. <laughs> it's the ones where you don't have to spend a ton of time doing it. They at least respect the idea that you have other things to do in your life. <laughs> But we'll fear of missing out. It's really abused in a lot of more modern video game mechanics. <sighs> Fortnite started it, and now everybody's been copying it for years. I mean, that's just kind of how it works. They needed a way to get more money without having to make more games. So that's the sort of structure that's been gone with lately. This game production's gotten more expensive, but they want to make more numbers. And the only way they can do that is by getting more out of each game. They had to get to scummier and scummier tactics, because, I mean, that's the only way the unsustainable growth can keep on going. Is this thing want me to go back to GT? I still think I have two keys. Surely that can't put Ice Harmos in logic. That'd be ridiculous. 
Though I guess if it is that weird situational key logic that could technically be possible. At least I have a sword now. I should probably go deal with that, because, I mean, there's nothing else in here. I'm here, I should pick up some more potion. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it, that's just how the economy works. Numbers gotta go up. But as time goes on, well, the realisticness of numbers continuing to go up. You know, it kind of changes when there's not more money to pull from. So suddenly you have to start resorting to questionable methods. <laughs> Does that mean how else are you gonna do it? Excellent. I wouldn't say the game market's imploding, it's still doing fine. Oh yeah, I should probably check the second chest in Castle Tower. Time series okay, most don't. The good with the bad and all that. Same thing with any other sort of tread and chase. I mean, before Fortnite, people were basically just ripping off Call of Duty and whatnot for ages. That's we just move on from fad to fad. It's how it works. <laughs> I can't believe both chests in here were important again. This needs to stop happening. <laughs> I still don't have easy access to the dark world, by the way. when I was capable of hovering. I think that makes live service a little bit different. Well, live service slash MMOs. They kind of found out the hard way that because the original that started the trend keeps on trucking along, you can't really compete very well because the original is still going. <laughs> it was different when they were just chasing after, like, popular game trends of individual single-player stuff. Because at some point, you know, people beat that game and they move on. But that's not how it works anymore. Do more in pod. I'm getting that impression. <laughs> I mean, Lincoln Dota are still chugging along pretty good. <laughs> quite as big, but they're still pretty huge. That's another case of the games are just, they're never gonna die, they're just gonna keep going. <laughs> okay, they will die at some point, but not anytime soon. <laughs> if there's any market that's suffering at the moment, it's esports. That bubble's kind of bursting real bad right about now. <laughs>
Ha! Don't really want that! I mean, I could climb the tower, but I don't have the bow yet. Yeah, I don't know how they respect you to make profits off of that. <laughs> Is that how it works, Boyle? It'll stabilize at some point, but for now, things are crashing pretty hard. Did I not do the Stolfo's basement? Oh, so this is where the hammer's gonna be, huh? Why didn't I do the Stolfo's basement? That's only been in logic forever. Okay, good, there's nothing. <laughs> that had potential to be really bad. Alright, now I'll do this side. Why, you expect people to learn from stuff like that? Why bother learning? The only people that suffer are the people that didn't have money to begin with. <laughs> That's how it always works. pretty good this time. Yeah, it'll be real great if you can give me another logic bow. Damn. <laughs> Alright, I should go to GT. It occurs to me, I still can't get to back of a... I haven't even found a Hyrule Castle... How have I not found a Hyrule Castle entrance? Wait, what? That is a good question. How have I not found a Hyrule Castle entrance? Ha! Huh. I just got looking at that right now, and it's like, what do you mean? Well, off to GT, I guess. so mad when I talk about the truth. So risky and dangerous. <laughs> it's kind of a uh, the many faults in the current structure that you've been brought up all the time. <laughs> as as the years go on, they only get more and more relevant.
Okay, there's that, I guess. You just have a good sword for this now. I didn't even have a sword when I was here last time. This is why this only works because of the nonsense key logic that's part of this door dead branch. Although apparently that's going into the main website these days. Nah, right, what's been over here this whole time? There it is! Yep! If I had enough magic, I could have had this the first time I was in here, pretty much. Also, good old situational key logic again. I guess that is only in logic with two keys when I have no other thing I can do with it. <laughs> this is where the bow shows up, so I can actually do the upstairs as well. Though. People always get so pissed. It's just like, it's not like I'm saying that they can't like what they like. It's just important to realize what they think they like is. I don't know, maybe I just don't like lying to myself about things. There's nothing wrong with enjoying something that's inherently. Well, how shall we say? Less than morally constructed. Honestly, it doesn't hurt anyone. Not that much, just me shaking my head at things. That's not the big key I wanted. Ah, screw it! One of those things. <laughs> Poor Reboot Camp, it's like, I wanted it to succeed, it just has pretty much everything possible going against it. <laughs> so I don't expect it to make very good numbers. That one, I'm bad. I mean, it's a niche game, <laughs> game type. They're selling it at full price, so it's asking a lot. <laughs> a year and a half of delays, and it's less than a month until Tears of the Kingdom. That poor game is gonna freaking suffocate. <laughs>
Yeah, at this point, the faster menu is the muscle memory for me. <laughs> Having to do standard menu speed makes this way harder for me now. <laughs> to do this climb in the first place, but, like, I really didn't want to climb all the way back here again. <laughs> ah, they might get more of a sequel, I know that much. Hopefully it's a little better than the previous one. <laughs> I respect the attempt, but it was kind of boring. Like, really boring. <laughs> was interesting. The only reason why I didn't actually end up finishing that game, at least historical campaign, I just kind of got tired of how badly they had to give the AI advantages to even be able to keep up with you. <laughs> it's like, look, dog, when you're having to give the AI a massive battleship that drops bombs on the center of the map, the, you know, the enormous radius that only damage specifically my units, we might be having a problem. <laughs> First off, how does that even work? And second, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Except for the most common time I get knocked out by Voldorm anymore these days, when he camps the drop down of whichever room. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Days of Ruin did give us Wayland, so there is that. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> so deliciously hateable. I mean, he's impossible to like, yet, but he's also wonderful to hate. <laughs> he's one of those. You can't help but hate him. <laughs> yeah, there's the pilot-looking guy with the freaking like, pompadour. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I really needed to do that, Asenta. I should probably go find that bow, considering it's probably gonna end up being go mode at this point. <laughs> In fact, it is my go mode, so I'm gonna not pursue any of the things I just got. <laughs> Alright, so I've sequence from past my go mode, and everything that I needed was just an upstairs Ganon's Tower. I need to go get that bow. <laughs> Hopefully it's not an ice palace. Well, here it is, Hyrule Castle at last! interesting little beast when it came to the DS games. Because, like, they're really fun to use, but they're really not fun to have used against you. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just let the music rock this time. Especially since Go Mode's gonna be Palace of Darkness, and I really like that theme. <laughs> ah, the drugs. Oh god, Colin, death by a thousand paper cuts! He never runs out of money! <laughs> it's like, sure, his units may be weaker, but every single time he uses his level 1, like his regular CO power, his units become regular for the turn, you know? They go back up to 100%, 100%! And he gets more money! <laughs> And it costs almost nothing to, t to use this power! So he just builds up another one! And another one! And another one! And another one! And another one! <laughs> in here. I see some tests. How about a bow? That's not a bow! <laughs> There's two more items, but it's not a bow! Alright! 
That's it. I don't really care where the other connector goes. I'm gonna sequence break Swamp Palace and maybe the other bow will show up. <laughs> If you want the biggest guilty pleasure CEO of them all, it's Grim. <laughs> Does he suck ass? Yes. But that song, though! <laughs> oh, hey, a secret's broken bow! <laughs> it's like clockwork, chat! It's like clockwork! That'll do! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Where's the intended bow? I have no idea. I don't care, though. <laughs> Because the small key for Swamp Palace was an upstairs GT, which requires the bow to get past those red mimics. So that was definitely intended to be our second bow. Ganon will tell us where the real one was. So basically, the moral of this game story is <laughs> just do upstairs GT without a bow for no other reason than you figure you're probably going to have to do it anyways because the freaking well is there. <laughs> and get endlessly rewarded for just completely ignoring logic. Especially try to ignore any sense of key logic and just do GT as early as possible to get that hammer, too! Using your brain was a bad idea in this scene. <laughs> it's good, I'm too tired to use my brain. <laughs> I was busy talking to chat the entire time. Truly the greatest of ideas! <laughs> Sad, sad, sad. Where the heck's the front of Turtle Rock, anyways? Guess I'll find out soon. Man, I have to finish this by doing that. Uh, lame. <laughs> actually have backwards TR and logic. I only have three out of four keys. I am 
curious where this is gonna spin me up though, because there's not very many options. It's probably gonna be the right side of. Actually, no, right side of Desert Palace is probably a Hyrule Castle. Now it's just up here. <laughs> I am legitimately curious though. Let me do a couple of checks. Was it up here? <laughs> Indeed, a swamp palace! Well, that ain't it. <laughs> I think that's the last of the big key? Ah, no, this is called Woods one. That's not terribly useful either! <laughs> yeah, the next, uh, next is Pine. Yeah, it's sure. <laughs> is it here? That's nope on that one. Damn, that actually does mean that two small keys were all I need for that to be in logic. What do you mean? Because there's one in the Gannis Tower big chest, and then there was one in Spike Cave. Not right. <laughs> it should be at least three small keys. <sighs> Stupid situational key logic. See. Yeah, this particular riff goes ridiculously hard for some reason. It's the first stage of the game! Okay, it's not the first stage. It's the first real stage. The intro is mostly just meandering. <laughs> Hearts. Jeez. <laughs> I know we're near nearly 200 checks, but that's a lot. All right, let's go deal with Aga.
Gotta get that tree opened up for business. Ow! Vanilla. I'm pretty sure we got the Eastern Palace main key from somewhere where really. that wasn't bow locked. You're very annoying! <laughs> Wait, didn't I get that from left side? Okay, so. I got the cane of Samaria from Eastern Palace. And I got the Eastern Palace big key from left side GT with the hammer behind the ice armos. So if it is a vanilla bow, then that is absolutely disgusting. Yes, Thank you for the nine months. You know that's been a little bit more for us today. Deal with blue balls! Saga. Did your chores? Yeah, nobody's gonna see him in there. Who the heck's gonna chop down a tree just to get to the king of all evil, right? With cold stare! 
I am gonna get right on that when I didn't have a hammer when I went to Ice Palace. Gross. So I was supposed to do Ice Palace. Emphasis on supposed to. Yeah, I'm fledgling. Yeah, I'm just finishing up. Just gonna give Ganon his healthy dosage of spins. And last one coming up. <laughs> yeah, this one was pretty bad. <laughs> Funny though. I do like a good twist and turn here and there. It's a nice little message you can get if you actually sit through the entirety of freaking like Bethesda publisher credits. <laughs> much to look for in the old spoiler log. We know that the intended bow was on cold stair. We'll find out what's on pedestal just from this. Ugh. And considering how few checks are left in the game, <laughs> shovel and book has to be somewhere within them. Well, I suppose I could take a quick look. They make these spoiler logs any like less messy looking? Ah, uh, no, they're just as messy. <laughs> Aggressive. That's not what I'm trying to do. Aggressive glove. Ah, <laughs> that's gonna come up. <laughs> Book of Mundora. Power of Hera Basement Fun! <laughs> Double! Fungus for gloves! <laughs> Monkey Tower of Hera.
<laughs> so yeah, the mushroom became the Titan's mitts. The mushroom we got for the top of Tour Rock, which is still not in launch again this time. <laughs> from red so the blacksmith made the tower of hair a small key so if you wanted the book of Midori, it had to get the titans bits rescue the blacksmith and then go check the tower of hair basement and you get your useless book Sleeps again forever. Yeah, great old shovel on pedestal to get a whole grand total of absolutely nothing. <laughs> You'd get a heart container for digging up your prize. Oh yeah, the last sword. A uh, progressive sword. Left side swamp. So you know, Swamp Palace had a sword. Surprise. <laughs> Yeah, since the game only really has, like, one proper credits theme, I just had to use the same credits theme for all three versions of the randomizer. So this will be the credits theme for Link to the Past, Super Metroid, and the combined randomizers. It's all we got. <laughs> Most of the other random theme packs I had, like, credits-like songs I could use, but this game only has the one. <laughs> So it doesn't matter what randomizer you play with it, you'll get this as your credits. I suppose I could take a look for the last shield. No pad plus plus, come back once more! Progressive shield. Ha! So there was one in Sahasula's hut, and if you decided to bring the green pendant back to him, you'd get another one! Sahasula the shield merchant. I guess you'd get that green pendant from finishing Ice Palace to get that bow you were supposed to get. <laughs> Man, so many rewards for just not following logic. else to stream today. Something, something, not feeling it, something, didn't give much sleep. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to stream tomorrow. I kind of want to just do a me day in terms of something to stream. 
Maybe hey, some pew pew. I haven't played a little bit of pew pew in a long time. <laughs> Magic Years 2014! That's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Very magical! And I didn't get half magic until the very end of the seed. Yeah, a little bit of the old pew pew. I got a uh, boomer shooter in mind that I could play for a little bit, you know, just have a bit of fun. <laughs> <sighs> but for now, that's going to do it. <laughs>